Let's bring in the executive vice president of the National Taxpayers Union, Brandon Arnold. So, Brandon, why not just suspend the federal gas tax? Well, the problem here is it's not a true energy policy. It's just a band-aid to cover up a lack of an energy policy. It's a band-aid to cover up the fact that gas prices are rising and there's no real solution from this administration. If they want to relieve uh, Americans of the burden of the gas tax, that's fine. It's not going to be a dollar for dollar saving situation because some of that is going to be absorbed up the supply chain, but it's not going to provide the long-term price stability that we need that's only going to come if we have a true energy policy that puts all energy solutions on the table, not just a select few. Yeah, you say it's a Band-Aid. What's the surgery? Because Republicans are certainly taking advantage of this. We're seeing them hold now voter registration <laughs> events at gas stations. Yeah, and that's clever politicking, but again, that's not a real solution either. Of course, what we need to do is bring more energy online. This administration, since day one, with the canceling of the Keystone Pipeline, with restricting the extraction of oil and gas on public lands, they continue to go down the same exact path with the Build Back Better plan, with the desire to raise royalty rates on the extraction of oil and gas. They're moving in the wrong direction all across the board. We need to flip the switch go in the other direction. It's not going to provide immediate relief, unfortunately. It's not going to immediately drop the gas price down from 425 to 325 or something like that. But at least it'll be moving directionally where we ought to be going as a nation instead of going as full speed ahead right. in the wrong direction. All right. Well, we'll see. But we uh, we should point out that two states have already dropped the state gasoline tax, at least uh, temporarily, that being Georgia and Maryland as well. Executive Vice President of the National Taxpayers Union, Brandon Arnold, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.